Hey guys, um, so this week Vox Women is turning into Vox Carly. Um, I'm going to be doing some updates and uh, predictions uh, leading into the World Championships in Richmond and I thought I'll kickstart my uh, takeover with a little interview. Um, I th you know, it's always hard to get an interview with the stars and sometimes you have to be very strategic in the way you go about things. So um, I wanted to interview Lauren Rowney before she leaves to, um, to the US of A and um, luckily I know her well. So I knew where she'll be and um, I knew what she would be doing. So Lauren, um, this is your last day in Girona and you're clearly um, enjoying a recovery day? Yep. Nice. Yep, just been for an hour and a half spin and training really hard ahead of the World Championships and I like to train really hard and recover hard and I recover yeah, hard at the, the coffee shop. Yeah. It's all about the little things. Um, you're feeling ready. I've noticed your nails. It's uh, the one percenters that make a difference. And look at those Aussie colours. <laughs> the thing is, is you're Australian. You own a Dutch passport. You live in Spain, and you actually were born in South Africa. Um, if that doesn't confuse you guys, then I don't know what does. Uh, that's multiculturalism at its finest. <laughs> Yes, ladies and gentlemen, she's complaining about the camera angle. <laughs> you're cutting off my head. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, so, yeah, ahead of the you leave tomorrow and you went over the course earlier this year. What do you think of it? Yeah, I rode the course in May this year, so I guess the, the temperature is going to be similar. Um, it's very much a classics course. It's pretty uneventful the first 11 k's but it's it's all going to come down to those last five k's we've got three heels one after another it's really technical and um it will suit the likes of a really strong um all rounder but a powerful sprinter yeah and what do you think your role would be having seen the course and knowing how strong australia is as well i mean everyone that's been picked from Australia has won a bike race this year. Yeah, so. that's exactly right. And we've um, we've won the races in all types of ways, sprint finishes, solo breakaways, small breaks. So I think the best thing for us um, is to race aggressively. We always do better when we, we don't sit and wait for the, the race to come to us. So I think we'll all probably have a role that just involves being aggressive and um, we'll see what happens at the end. Oh, I wish you good luck. <laughs> yep, so that's my uh, first instalment. Um, this week I'll be giving race updates. And yeah, follow Vox Women. Adios. Mm.